Brittany Haas, Chief Adventure Officer from Alpha Mentors Unguided. And today we're in my kitchen and I'm going to teach you how to make Kaiserschnitte. Now this is a dish that started at the Schwarzwald Alp in the Bernese Overland region of Switzerland. And it's absolutely delicious. I think I haven't made it yet. But I like to think of it so it translates, Kaiserschnitte translates to um, cheese slices. <laughs> But actually what it's maybe more like is a very fancy gourmet grilled cheese sandwich that you don't grill, but rather you bake it in the oven. And from what I can tell, it looks really simple and really delicious. Though I'm expecting that this is going to become a staple in my household. Now, Alpha Ventures and Guided is an adventure travel company. We offer self-guided outdoor adventures in the Alps and beyond, um, hut to hut hikes, bicycle tours and such like that. So you're probably wondering um, why in the world is an adventure travel company doing a cooking show? So let me give you some context. So today as I film this, it's May 6, 2020. We're in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and we're not sure what travel is going to look like this summer. And Alba Mentors and Guidance has a lot of hopeful customers who have booked tours for the summer who are waiting eagerly to see whether or not they're going to be able to go. And some people are feeling a little down and detached about not being able to do their tour. So, Alba Mentors and Guidance to the rescue, um, we're going to do what we can to help you connect with the huts in the Alps. So we have reached out to many of the mountain huts that we work with throughout the Alps and requested recipes from them that they would like to share with Alpha Ventures customers who maybe might not be able to make it to their huts. And from that, we are doing our video series, A Taste of the Alps. We have some amazing recipes that I just absolutely can't wait to share with you. But there is a little catch. And the catch is, is that while I may be a great adventure planner, I am not a great cook. I don't have any training in the kitchen, and I would definitely consider myself below average cook. Um, and I don't have the equipment or things that are set up for great cooking. So um, just relax and be open-minded as we work through this together. I decided this is already a little bit of a stretch for me to do a cooking video. We're just going to let it go and I haven't practiced any of the recipes that I will be sharing with you. So I can promise that there will be a few moments of um, question marks going off in your head and probably a few funny moments throughout this series. All right, so as I mentioned before, this dish is called Kaiserschnitte, which is kind of like a grilled baked cheese sandwich that's very gourmet. Good news is it's really easy, so there's an easy way to start. This recipe will be located on the blog and you'll be able to find the link to that blog in the comments below. So you can get all the information. The recipe is for four servings. Um, it's just my husband and I though, so I'm going to go ahead and do two servings. So we'll have a little bit of math involved here. Um, the ingredients are, for us, four slices of bread. The main um, thing is eight slices of bread. We're doing four slices of cooked ham. I just cheated I'm using deli sliced ham. Um, 600, 600 grams normally, which is 300 grams of um, what's called raclette queso, raclette cheese. So that's a dish in Switzerland, but really what it needs to be is a sort of cheese that melts very well. So this is Gouda cheese that I chose for this video. Um, you can do a, a list of different types of cheese, Emmentaler cheese, traditional Swiss cheese goes very well. You can do cheddar cheese, um, but that would remove any authenticity from this recipe because you would probably never find cheddar cheese at a hut in Alps. But if you have to do that, that's fine. Um, we have then some milk or wine. So two deciliters or one tablespoon of milk or wine. Uh, we're doing milk today. 100 grams of chives. Eight pieces, we have four pieces here, of vinegar vegetables. Um, pepper and paprika as desired. Uh, this has to be done in individual baking dishes, so we have a couple baking dishes out. And then we have a couple eggs, so if you were do, doing four servings, you would do four eggs. You'd be frying eggs and putting them on top. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've distributed two pieces of bread per baking dish here. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and it says to pour the milk or the wine generously over the bread. Um, I'm a little bit confused though because it's only one tablespoon for eight pieces of bread, which would be half a tablespoon for four pieces of bread, which just doesn't sound like a lot. Um, and this is where you're gonna figure out that I'm maybe not the greatest cook. So even though I don't have any experience with this recipe, I'm just gonna kind of wing it and I'm gonna do half a tablespoon of milk for each piece of bread and hope that works. All right, so we have half a tablespoon of milk or wine over each piece of bread. Then you cover each piece of bread with a piece of ham. Very simple so far. All right, we're good. Four pieces of ham. And then what you do is you cover um, the ham with thinly sliced cheese. Um, I tried to thinly slice this, but it was a little bit of a, uh, didn't come out in whole slices for me. So I'm just gonna kind of do my best here and stack it on top a little bit. And I mean, it should just melt. So I'm pretty sure that I have had this dish once before on the Tournament Blanc at um, Jeet au Page de la Tourne, which I probably said wrong. I'm great at German and not so great at French. So. Once we get these covered in cheese and everything in, we bake it, which is nice and easy. Okay, so my oven is preheated to 200 degrees Celsius, which is 392 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna pop it in for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, and while that is working, I'm going to go ahead and fry the eggs. So I have a little bit of oil in here, and heat it up. I almost never fry eggs, I'm a scrambler. So this is again testing my skills here. Okay, so while this is cooking, let me tell you a little bit about the Schwarzwald Elm. It's almost more of a hotel, a little mountain hotel chalet than it is a hut. Uh, but the Schwarzwald Alp is located in Switzerland, above the village of Grindelwald, and near Interlaken, and also not very far away from the famous Eiger North Face. It's the first accommodation on a seven-day hiking tour on the Bernese Overland, which travels through some of the most dramatic and spectacular scenery that Switzerland has to offer. It sits in this lush green valley with these amazing views of jagged mountains nearby. The Schwarzwald app is really nice because they offer not only dormitory accommodations, which are more budget friendly, which is important somewhere like Switzerland, but they also offer private accommodation for those who want a little bit more comfort at their accommodation. And on the Bernie's Overland Tour, actually most of the accommodations offer a private room option. I'll put the link to both the tour and the Schwarzwald Alp below. So the Schwarzwald Alp is definitely uh, a very authentic Swiss experience. It's remote, it's beautiful. There is a road going to it, so even if you're not a hiker, you can definitely spend some nights up there. Let me turn that down. Um, and I want to send a big thank you out to Mrs. <laughs> Melody Sanger for providing this amazing recipe. So, vielen Dank, Frau Sanger. Ich freue mich total drauf. All right, so let's let everything cook and we'll be back in a minute. All right, so our Kieselschnitte has been in the oven for about 15 minutes, so let's take a look. It looks pretty done to me. There's one. There's two. Perfect, now all we have to do is put the finishing touches on it. So I think the intention with this recipe is to have a fried egg with a runny yolk. I'm not really a runny yolk person, so I cooked it on both sides. So you put the egg on top. So I'm gonna display it in the photo that the hut sent to me. And I'll let you decide um, the level of beauty of my version compared to the hut's version. So then we're going to garnish with two um, 
vinegar vegetables, they say, so I chose pickles, but you can do really anything that's pickled. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, is that pretty? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna put some chives over it. Alrighty, there it is, finished Kesa Schnitte. So thank you so much for joining for this video. I hope you learned something that you can take with you and help you feel connected to the Alps. And I'm looking forward to doing more videos like this. So we'll see you in a future video. Thanks for joining. Let's just sample that here. Simple and delicious. Perfect.